Three changes to the squad, Steve. Why is that the case? Well, just some slight adjustments to our group this week. You know, obviously one change is forced upon us with the suspension of Sam Burgess. Uh, just a couple of other slight adjustments. Having a look at another couple of members of our squad uh, this week. I think it suits us uh, to have that consistent selection from last week, but with uh, a couple of little tweaks. Tom Briscoe and James Graham in. What will they bring to the to the squad? Oh, a lot. You know, the, these. Uh, as I've said all along, for the last couple of weeks, we've got 24 very good players. So I think uh, anybody who gets brought in is going to add some impetus to the team and some freshness to the team. And uh, those two will certainly do that. Do you think Josh Charnley and, and Lee Mossop are hard done by not, not featuring this week? I think at the at the highest level of international rugby league, it's it's fine air sometimes. And <clears throat> Josh, did fine, Josh did fine last week. He's got. A, a little slight shoulder niggle that he's had for a couple of weeks, uh, so it won't do him any harm. Uh, and the choice, you know, between between the wingers is is pretty fierce. You know, Tom's done extremely well in, in training, done a lot of extras to get himself to where he's at now. So we're gonna have a look at Tom this week. And uh, Lee Moss up, yeah, he's um, you know he came on in a difficult period in the game for his last week, and he um, you know tr tried his best to to withstand a little bit the Australian barrage and. Uh, but this week, uh, they just decided to go a slightly different way. And how important is it to have Sean O'Loughlin <coughs> back fighting fit? Well, it's nice to have to have him available for selection. Um, he's uh, really well valued by the group, by everybody within the group. We understand the qualities that he bring, that he brings to the group, and yeah, I'm glad that he's now fit and available for selection, and just adds to that conundrum of which which is uh, our best 17 eventually. What can we expect from Ireland? I think they're going to be very good. I think there's uh, going to be a really big crowd at the at the uh, stadium on Saturday. A lot of them will be Irish fans. There's a big Irish uh, community in others feel. I think their, their team will be a lot better for their hit out against Fiji. Uh, and I think they've got some personnel in that group who uh, are very good players in their own right, but will be highly motivated. Uh, playing against players who they play alongside week in, week out, and against week in, week out, and so play. How do you keep the players fired and motivated? Because on paper, many would perceive this as quite an easy game for England. Well, I'd refute that completely. I think, as the whole of the World Cup has shown so far, you know, teams on paper, you know, it doesn't mean a job, it doesn't mean anything whatsoever. You've got to perform, you've got to be ready to play. We learned that lesson a couple of weeks back against Italy. Um, I'm saying I won't be making the same mistake again. Have you been pleased with training this week? Yeah, good, yeah. The, um, after a really physical game against Australia, the way the players have recovered, recovered really hard and really well. A uh, strong session yesterday, you know, two, two strong sessions yesterday, one in, in the gym, which included wrestling, and one, one outside today, uh, yesterday, sorry, which uh, was very intense. So we're back, you know, the team are back, firing, ready to go. We've got an important session this afternoon as I'm speaking right now uh, before we go into a break for a day but look it's uh, it's the World Cup we need to be good uh, and we will be. It's been well documented how well we played against Australia but you feel we can improve even more? Well, I think we played played well in certain areas at certain stages but not across the board all the way through the game and that's what we're striving for we're striving for that perfection we're striving for the performances with and without the ball that uh, put the opposition under more pressure than what we did at the weekend and so yeah, we, we we naturally disappointed to lose that game, encouraged by certain aspects, but very determined to improve from that. Some of what it means to rugby league to see a full house at the John Smith Stadium. I think every, everyone's pleasantly surprised. I think I think this is took a few people by surprise the um, the coverage that all of the games have got so far, the attendances that have, have come through. Uh, but for an England team to be playing in a stadium. At Huddersfield, with it being full, the, you know, the signs are full. That's that is what the players strive for. The players love those sorts of situations. Uh, we're really, really grateful of the public to, to come in and support in this week. Hopefully, we we'll get it again the following week in Hull and, and further on throughout the tournament.